had to come over here and actually talk about uh, Raz B. Not for everybody that was saying me and Raz B look alike. Stop saying that, okay? I know that's a definitely a dig at our lips. Everybody with full lips. All right, don't look alike, okay? Maybe from the same tribe. Whenever you see it, I just say same tribe, and it's the same tribe. Now, Raz B, of course, uh, was over there on Fox Soul, and he actually had an exclusive interview where he was going to detail, uh, he was going to give the details once again of the of the alleged R word and molestation that he received allegedly from Christos Marcus Houston while he was in B2K and coming up. Now, always keep in mind, Raz B is actually related to Chris Stroke, so this makes them, Chris, damn it. So this makes this whole ordeal even worse, all right? So the, the interview's done, it goes up and quickly gets taken down after some cease and desist from Chris Stokes and his team, all right? And my thing is this, my thing is this, right? In all the years that Raz B has been screaming this from the mountaintop, in all the years that Quentin been screaming this from the mountaintop, from sea to shining sea, ain't no valley wide enough, ain't no river wide enough, ain't no mountain high enough to keep me off your ass, baby. Raz B staying on your ass, Chris. Just like you stayed in his years ago. He's not playing. He said he's not here to be bullied and he's not here for it. So y'all might have took that interview down, but this man is not going to stop talking and he's not going to stop talking ever. So I kept digging a little bit and the Storm Chaser sent this to me and this is actually from Orion's Instagram page, all right? This is as of today, like about a half an hour ago. Now, Orion is Omari, Omarion's brother. I I don't know if y'all know that, but you uh, Omarion's name is Omari. His brother's name is Orion. They mama like the letter O. <laughs> it is what it is, all right? So Orion took a picture with his daughter where Chris Stokes went and, and commented the fist and the fire. Now, I'm going to say right away, Mr. Stokes, I don't want you commenting on no picture of, of Nan Body's child. Is that just me? I'm sorry, sir. I, the, the, and I'm, I'm going to get to the point of this story later. But look, my thing is this. I, even if you've been accused of some stuff like that, what you've been accused of, sir, for many, many years. I'm going to need you to stay off of anybody's young child, young daughter picture, especially when you co-sign Marcus marrying that 18-year-old girl that had been on a missing children's list. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that, that you know, you, you married some, mm, it didn't seem right to me. Mm, she had been around Crystal since she was a teenager. Mm, you know, mm, don't seem right now. He said, you know, punch, punch, fire, all right? And Orion said, Chris Stokes, take the polygraphs. Take the polygraphs. Raz B actually wants Chris to actually take a polygraph. Listen to this here. So I've been getting a bunch of calls from my loved ones, people that support me. And they're like, take this down, deal with this privately. But I say, yo, they've ruined me publicly. They've tried to smear my testimony. Make me out to look crazy. Got people looking at me sideways. Got people thinking that I'm gay. And I'm not because I was molested by a pedophile. So this is how we do this. Since y'all want to try to shut me down publicly with sending out cease and desist letters, let's get in the room with the lawyers. And let's take a polygraph test. I'm going to take the test. And when I take the test, you can, you can do whatever it is that you need to do. When you take it, and when you fail, you take this fade and you take that bit. Because I'm tired of being bullied and I'm not going to be bullied no more. Oh, yeah. And I'm doing this polygraph test for all of my fans that support me, all my family and my friends that support me so I can move on with my career, move on with my life. Free me. Free oh, yeah. you. And I'm free him, damn it. Free him, Chris. Free him. Free him. He just want to be free. Come on and take the polygraph, Chris. Take the test. Take the damn test. Because my whole thing is this. It ain't nobody saying the same thing, same damn thing about you for several years if there is not some bit of truth to it. The whole situation of those B2K boys living with Chris never sat right to me. In this music industry, there is so much sexual abuse and molestation that goes on. It would make your eyes curl. It, it, it would just make your eyes turn the, the amount of, of abuse that goes on, which is why these kids are pretty much no good by the time they're adults, which is why by the time you see them be adults, not only is the industry already done with them, 
because literally they didn't all have them. There's nothing left. There's nothing left because everybody has had a taste. Number one and number two, they souls been plucked out of them. And I'm, you know, replacing the P with an F, literally and figuratively. Oh, we gonna get, oh, hey, Drew Barrymore. Hey, Drew, we gonna tell your story over here too because you ain't telling me somebody that, that, that had a mother that allowed them to be partying, drinking, smoking, and doing drugs at age 12. Wasn't no abuse going on. When she was a minor, huh? You can't tell me that what was what was the actress, the white actress that posed for Calvin Klein and did the movie where she play, played a prostitute and she was 14. You can't tell me what nothing going on over there. Or do y'all only pay attention when the Negroes do it? We gonna talk about it all over here. Oh no, ain't nothing. Oh no, I know y'all don't like me. I, I know you wanna like me. You wanna fight me. <laughs> I was on my page, never double tap. Like me. Now, I'm gonna say all this to say this. Do y'all remember Quindon? See, I, see, Quindon was from the group Immature. And in this picture right here is uh, Chris Stokes there, Quindon. And I can't tell if that's Raz B. I can't tell who that is on the right. But Quindon Tarver even said, I thought it was real between us all. It was all a part of a motive and agenda. Listen, people, a motive and agenda. Because in, in Helly Weird, it is an agenda. The agenda of turning everybody out. The agenda of Satan. The agenda of everything ungodly. Man, come on. Ungodly. Come on, man. Man, keep it real. Young artists breaking into this industry be aware of the wolves in sheep's clothing. Mm, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, damn it. So then we went, we, you know, uh, the, the neighborhood talk shout outs, and it was over there on Chris Stokes page and, and Marcus Houston page because you know, every time Brass B talks, so do they talk. You know, it's almost as if every time Brass B opens his mouth, here come Marcus and Chris calling one another saying, okay, you gonna post some? Okay, I'm gonna, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, Sam. Chris, Chris, you gonna post some? Okay, I'm gonna post some. Okay, post some about how we best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Yes. Put put the put the put, put the cute pic with with the with the Chanel shoes. Yes. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Best friends. My best friend and business partner. We've accomplished so much together, yet we still running a marathon. With Jehovah first, we will always succeed according to his will. We ride together, die together, bad boys for life. I excuse me, sir. We ride together, die together. I thought that was your wife. Wait a minute. I'm not riding and dying with no other nigga. I thought right, we ride together, we die together. I thought that was... Don't you, don't you got a 19-year-old wife to ride and die together? Well, you're going to die first. But ride and die together with, I'm not understanding. Bad boys for life. Y'all two grown-ass men. Boys, what? Don't 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 you bring Martin Lawrence and Will Smith into this. Well, hell, Will Smith's a whole nother story. But you you get what I'm saying? This stuff is weird. This whole situation is weird. And, and, and the energy I get from the photos is... You know the energy. You know the energy this is giving. It... When did Mark and Houston's eyes get so droopy? I never noticed his eyes were so droopy. But here's my whole thing, right? The whole Jehovah's Witness thing or any religion that a lot of these celebrities going high behind. Let me tell you something. These people are trying to make sure that they don't bust hell wide open with gasoline draws on them, right? They might have been busted all up and through in the industry. They might have busted a, a lot of cherries throughout the years. But they trying to make sure they don't bust hell's gates wide open. And I'm here to let y'all know that no matter how much you repent, you will still have to stand before God and take account for what what you did and you might not be able to admit it here but when god is reading your book of life well hopefully you make it to the book of life i hope that you can at least admit to god so i hope you can at least admit to jehovah what you did because he gonna play gonna play it for you so i hope you can't admit or is you gonna lie to him too is you gonna lie to him too we the people just want to know all right and so then i kept digging some more and i saw a, a article from 2018 where quentin tarver spoke out about the sexual abuse in the industry all right so they been chris and quentin been talking about this this is nothing new then i found another uh uh interview with quentin tarver from ss magazine in 2010 he said for a certain amount of years i was molested i wouldn't say exactly by chris but he would organize it. He would make another member of the boy band immature, like come and do things. Oh my God, four years, it was rough. Yeah, it was definitely rough. It was definitely rough. 
as Raz B has described to us exactly how allegedly Chris would do what he do. So I'm here to say this. At the end of the day, Raz B is going to continue exposing them. Quentin is going to continue talking. Now, everybody is going to continue speaking out on this situation because the truth is the truth and everything done in the dark should come to the light. I don't believe that everybody is just lying on these men. I want Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston to take that lie detector test. And I'm going to put it out there that they are Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston are welcome on this show. We'll ask them the questions that the people want to know. Let's see if they're up to the task. Probably not. But let's just put it out there and see. You never know. But I'm here to I'm 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 just here to tell y'all that everything Raz is saying and been saying is nothing new. It's industry standard. But what's sad is that because he is a man, because he was a boy, nobody cared. And because of the deep-rooted homophobia in black people, period, y'all just called him gay. Yamaya's Gift is a brand that specializes in medicinal herbs and all natural supplements to help alleviate a lot of conditions that Americans suffer from, okay? Now, Yamaya's Gift got products to help you with that hypertension, to help speed up that weight loss, get rid of them fibroids, as well as help alleviate the symptoms of that diabetes. Oh yeah, that sugar, that sugar is real bad. So now with Yamaya's Gift, you get a lot of gifts, but the best gift that anyone could ever give you is the ability to heal heal thyself from the inside out with products like elderberry syrup to help keep that immunity in check because we all fighting miss rona we all trying to windmill her ass up out of our lives but one of my personal favorites as a matter of fact two of my personal favorite products with your mind's gift is the all natural honey and the tea that's for men and the reason why i like those products is because if you are somebody with a low sex drive if you need a boost in the bedroom and if you are ready to get brian pumpered lexington steeled all night long then just put some of that in your man's cup and you will be on your way to a happier healthy marriage all right now place your orders today whether you need your immunity taken care of you're trying to lose some weight you're trying to get rid of that sugar the diabetes or you're just trying to bust a nut okay order her shit at www.yamayasgift.com